If you're new to DTF, you may not be aware that seams, zippers, and buttons can cause problems when you're pressing, even if the graphic isn't going over those parts of the garment. Let's talk about why it's a problem, how to address it, and see if we can find a way to DTF over a zipper. Hi, I'm Jeremy with DTF Superstore. Seams, zippers, and buttons cause issues when pressing because they create high and low pressure zones, making it hard to get an even pressure over the graphic. Most of the time, I suggest trying to get the seams, zippers, and buttons off the platen or using a smaller platen heat press. However, that's not always possible. That's where heat pressing pillows come in. They're basically a foam pad in a Teflon cover. What this does is raise up the graphic and give the seam, zipper, or button a place to be depressed into. You want to use a pillow that is the size of your graphic or larger, placing it directly behind the graphic like this. You know what else is behind the graphic? This like button that you can press if you're enjoying this DTF content. We were talking in one of our video production meetings and Phil had an idea for a zip up hoodie but the graphic would go over the zipper, this area. My first response was, well, that's not gonna work well. And then I got thinking, is there a way we could get the graphic to press over the zipper without it getting messed up? Let's try it and see what happens. So first things first, I know that I need to go a little bit lower pressure than this is set at right now because we're gonna kind of raise up the zipper and everything. So I'm gonna bring this down to start with. And the next thing we're gonna do, probably best to leave it over it like this. That's just gonna give us the best chance for success, I think. And this area here is really what we're concerned about. Now we're gonna try to put the graphic over it like this. It'll make sense when it's all done, I promise. So we wanna go like this, but this is raised up really high. So what we wanna do is we wanna get all of this to raise up and even maybe a little bit more so that this has more room to depress down into the pressing pillows. So let's do our big one in here first. Perfect. And then this one is about the size of our graphic. So let's slide that one in there and we'll zip it back up. And let's kind of just do a test run to kind of press this down. Yeah, that looks like it's probably gonna press pretty good. Okay, let's do a test press without the graphic to see if we've got a good pressure. Yeah, I think that feels pretty good. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, you can see there's some slight discoloration on the edges here. All right, so we're gonna set the graphic here in the middle, kind of middle up. I do want the seam running right down in between those two fingers of that hand. And then it was pretty light pressure when I tested it. I'm even gonna go a touch lighter just so that we're not like compressing it too much. It's important to have pressure for sure. I'm wondering if I can kind of gently get it where I want it to be. <laughs> All right, we're pretty good there on temp. Let's do the first press, see how it goes. Again, that's not a very high pressure. I know I'm gonna need to do it a little bit higher here in a second, but this is just kind of an initial test to see if this works. Okay. It's really hot. <laughs> so it's definitely not pressed far enough in these sections. I can see already it's not quite pressed enough. Here's looking okay. So I'm gonna raise the platen a little bit to increase our pressure. And I've said it in other videos, anytime you're trying something new, even if it's a hot peel film, like this is our V2 hot peel film, it's good to let it cool off a little bit before you try to peel it. Anytime you try something creative or maybe a little bit outside of the box. Okay. So we are not completely adhered. Can see parts of it kind of peeling up a little bit. So let's just finish off our peel real quick. Now I can see here on these edges, right at the outer edge of the zipper kind of cover, 
it's not quite pressed in there. So let's try threading it back on. Let's make sure our pressing pillows are still in roughly the same spot. We're gonna have some parchment paper and we're gonna increase the pressure a little bit more. All right, let's see what happens. All right, that's looking better. It's kind of hot. So do me a favor, just be careful. I have an idea. I think I'm gonna try to cut this seam down the middle, unzip it, and we'll press each side of it to kind of help finish flattening out a little bit more. Cause we really don't want any part of it to be able to lift up and peel. Cause that's just gonna, gonna cause it to not last very long. And we want this to live long and prosper. Excellent. It's open now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of take each side and I'm gonna kind of press it on its own, hoping it flattens out the rest of the way. Beauty of DTF, super durable. You can press it a whole bunch of times. It really doesn't hurt it at all. So I think we'll have a total of like three or four 20 second presses by the time we're done with this. I think it's working. I'm gonna go to the full 20 seconds there. Hopefully you can see in this back camera here, it's just, it's just not quite where I want it to be on that on this top edge here. And maybe I could get a like a mini Cricut heat press or something like that to kind of f finalize that edge a little bit. But I'm gonna try one more press, a little bit more pressure and see if that'll be enough to do it. Yeah, I'm happy with the way that looks. Let's get this side. Yeah, I'm happy with how that looks. All right, well, this turned out great. I was able to successfully get the graphic all the way over the zipper without it messing it up too much. So you can definitely do it. Use a couple of pressing pillows. Uh, be really careful with your pressure. Test, test again, press a little bit, press a little bit more. Just kind of be careful with it. Obviously, you don't want to do a whole bunch of shirts, but if you're trying to do a nice custom piece or to show off what you can do with DTF, this is a great option. And a lot of you watching have already figured out what I did with this shirt and graphic. For those of you who haven't caught on just yet, his shirt now does the live long and prosper. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.